Good morning, we're live. Good to see you guys. It's been a while since we've done the uh, the, the copy chat slash uh, challenge drawing. Alyssa and Ivan are going to be with me, so we're, I figured I'd come on early and get ready to go. Um, got some good prizes today. Got a lot of people that got into it. Uh, very happy. A lot of new people, so I'm glad to see that. Uh, got a whole stack of names here. 54 people in this one. PJ Leposki, thank you, sir, for donating the ink bird that some lucky participant is going to win today. Uh, drinking my Adrenaline Shock Watermelon Smart Energy. So, Shad Ash, what's up, man, Shad? Uh, Tom Michek is here. Rod Mina, good to see you guys. Uh, so, yeah, um, excuse my gold glasses. My other glasses are uh, scratched, so... These will have to do just so I can read. Getting old sucks. Good morning, Rod. <clears throat> uh, PJ Leposki, he was one of the first ones to sign on. Uh, just want to thank you, PJ. PJ is donating an Inkbird 4XS, I believe is is the actual one. I have I have almost every one of them, I believe. But excuse me while I pull this out. That was Blazing Saddles. Remember that? Excuse me while I whip this out. Uh, Inkbird IBT 4XS, donated by Mr. PJ Leposki. Thank you. Donnie Sanchez, good to see you this morning. Hope you're doing well after surgery on that foot. Uh, stay off that bad boy and get some rest. Uh, good morning, Steve Gerard. Good to see you this morning. So, uh, while I'm waiting, Alyssa and I have been finishing up breakfast. We're, we eat late here, so uh, they're finishing up. They're going to give me a hand with this, as always. Uh, some great, great gifts. Uh, I just want to let me let me run through the list real quick. Sure Shot Sids donated a lemon pepper, gunpowder seed, lemon pepper and gunpowder. Uh, a cayenne wing sauce. I have not tried that one yet. I'd love to try that one. Chipotle pepper, uh, Chipotle pepper rub. I've tried before, and a new one that I haven't seen before is a lemon, pe a lime pepper. So good, good, good morning, Mike Peeler. Good to see you. So. Uh, Nice little bundle from Sure Shot Sitch. Thank you, Kellyanne, for helping us out with that gift. Uh, second one we have is Wright's Barbecue. Wright's Barbecue AP Rub Shaker and the Chipotle Peach Sauce. I have I have this myself. It's outstanding. Uh, goes with everything. The sauce is amazing. So and, and it comes with the shaker. So very very cool. Thank you guys for that. Uh, PJ says he won't be able to ship the Inkbird until Tuesday because he's heading to Florida shortly here today. We can live with that. Thank you, sir, for again for for donating that Inkbird IBT 4XS. So uh, that's a great unit. I have one myself. I have one of all of them actually, and I, I use all of them. I, I like all of them. So uh, PJ says the lime pepper is good. I have not tried it. Jennifer Jill Hints, good morning to you. Um, so as I said, the third one is the Inkbird IBT 4XS from PJ Leposki. Thank you again. Suckle Busters donating a four pack of some awesome rubs. Uh, I have every single one of these and I use them religiously. Uh, Steve Gerard says lime pepper is good on carne asada. I'm going to have to get some lime pepper. I definitely, I'm a lime freak, so I love lime. So, uh, as I said, Suckle Busters four pack, it includes the 1836, mm. one of the best peppery sauces or peppery rubs you'll ever use. I use it, it's great on uh, beef. Uh, Clucker Dust, my go to for, for chicken. Clucker Dust is by far the best chicken rub I've ever used. Uh, the Hog Waller, great on pork. And the SPG, which is I use on everything, salt, pepper, garlic. So, uh, Josh Howell, good morning. Good to see you. Good afternoon. Okay, and then uh, from Rogue Custom Wood, which is uh, our admin, Chris Scott, his, uh, his woodworking uh, business. A custom cutting board. I have one of these cutting boards. I have the big one that he made me a, a few years back, and it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So uh, these are end grain, I believe, end grain uh, pieces. So it will not dull your knife. It actually is very forgiving to the uh, the, sh the sharpness of your knife. Um, so awesome thing. You you will absolutely love that. It's a smaller version of the one I have, but you will absolutely love it. I promise you. Billy Rose here. Good to see you. Okay, uh, and last but not least, this was just added in this morning from Ricky Doolin. Thank you so much, Ricky. Uh, a four-pack of Blues Hog sauce. And Blues Hog is one of the best competition sauces out. Um, any, anybody who uses 
uh, the Blues Hog. Anybody who does comps knows Blues Hog. So uh, outstanding, outstanding gift, and it, it's really good sauces. Uh, it, it includes the honey mustard, the Tennessee red sauce, the Smoky Mountain sauce, and the original. So, uh, um, oh, also thank you, Mike, for reminding me. Um, I will do a separate post about that also, Mike, and, and we will, let me see, before I'm getting getting out of control here. Uh, he wants to remind me, all the heroes, about the East Coast Barbecue Cook-Off. Uh, Mike Peeler is running that area for barbecue Backyard Barbecue Heroes. So uh, for information on that, we will be posting uh, the flyer on that. He did post that, I believe, uh, you know, last week, I believe, or this week. Um, We'll go more into depth in depth on that, Mike. But yes, anybody interested in that East Coast cookoff? Here comes Alyssa. Anybody interested in that East Coast cookoff? Please uh, instant message Mike Peeler. Mike Peeler will have all the details on that. And uh, that's my beautiful granddaughter, Alyssa. Say hi, Alyssa. Alyssa always helps me out with these, and I appreciate it. How was breakfast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so some good, some awesome gifts. Whoa, whoa. Alyssa just kicked my table and almost knocked it over. Uh, John Wilds here. Good morning. Let me see. Wait a minute. Look at that. John Wild, there you go, man. Ready to go. You are right on top. So as I said before, as most of you know, that we have a lot of new people, so I'm, I'm really happy about that to, for these challenges. These challenges are made so easily. I mean, they're so easy to do. Uh, all you got to do is enter. You know, you don't. It doesn't. It, it could be a total complete flop, but the fact that you tried it, you're in the drawing for the for these prizes. So uh, that's what we designed them for. And thank you to the sponsors that helped me out. Thank you to the heroes that helped me with this. Thank you to Alyssa and Ivan that helped me with these. Um, these are not easy to do, you know. Um, and Chris Scott and Brian Disney, This we dubbed this one the Brian Disney Burger Challenge because Brian Disney always takes pictures of some amazing looking burgers. So uh, we, we figured we'd name this one after him because Brian helps us out so much with all these. So, uh, and so some, for some of the new people, these papers I have cut exactly the same size. And what we will do was, I'll announce each one of them. There's 54 of them, so uh, get yourself something to drink. We may be here for a while, because what we do is we go through each one of these. I show them on the camera to show that you are in it. Um, I will then hand it to Alyssa. Am I, are you doing the drawing? Or, oh, okay, there's Ivan. There's my grandson back there. I will hand it to Ivan. Ivan will take each one and fold it exactly the same one time. And then I will show it dropped into said bucket. That's a Bud Light bucket, by the way. So uh, that was a gift somebody gave to me. I didn't take that from work. But nonetheless, uh, that's how it works. And you know, we we, we started out doing these a different way. Um, people said they it wasn't fair. So. Uh, this was the fairest way we could do it because we can't come out and I would love to come out and taste all the food wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah we'd like to do that. What's up old boy? Did you say hi? Hi. Hola. 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 He, he's bilingual as well because I teach him Espanol. So, um, like I said, we're going to be here for a little while so get yourself something to drink. Kick that recliner back and have some fun with us this morning. Uh, let me see if I'm missing any. Oh, look at all. I'm missing all these. My, my feed stops for a minute. Uh, let's go back here. Alyssa, can you help me with these? You can t just say the name and... Flander Martin. Great participation in this challenge. Great job, heroes. John Wild. Special thanks to all of the sponsors. This is a great group. Awesome. Uh, let me see. Let's keep going. Tony McGee is watching. Good to see you, Tony. Rita Snow Silvis. Rita and I worked at the post office for many, many years. So happy to reconnect with her. Uh, Mike Peeler, thanks to all the sponsors in this contest. Thank you. Not the one for my other ink bird. Not going to be easy at all. Oh, oh, gotcha. Uh, PJ has two ink birds. He's giving one of them away. He wants the next one to be a little more challenging. So 
Uh, we're gonna step him up. We're gonna push your your push your skills and see how how far you can go. Uh, Mike Peeler's got lamb ribs going right now. I have never had lamb ribs. Man, I look like a pimp with these, don't I? Do I kind of look like a pimp with these gold or whatever gold gold rim glasses? Okay. So as I said. Does anybody want to talk about anything before we get started on this, or do you want me to just shut up and start drawing some names? So, Rob Mina's fishing, as always. Oh, he's there because he's not fishing. See, these glasses don't work. But that guy gets to, you fish more than I do, man, and, and that makes me jealous. So, uh, anybody need to talk about anything? Is Chris Scott in the house yet? Is Brian Disney in the house that they might have gotten by without me seeing? Because these glasses don't work. So, alrighty, um, okay, so like I said, what I'll do is I'll move this over so you can see, and I'll show the name. Oh, there goes one already. John Wild, you just got blown out of the competition, I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding, I have it. You're still good. Okay, so let me put this up here. Is that going to work right there? Let's see. Now, you know what, I'll hold it right here. I want you guys to be able to see this. Okay, I have the bucket right here. Okay, what we'll do, let me move this. We need to get sponsored by a energy drink place as much as I spend on energy drinks. Uh, PJ called me Pimp Daddy Rob. That sounds like a new barbecue, Pimp Papa Rocks. Mike Peeler said he'll text me later on, okay? And uh, we will do that, uh, we'll, we will do a special post about that hero uh, East Coast hero cook-off okay so people are in place are you picking are you drawing okay well you need to get up and let I sit there because first of all we're not doing drawing you can sit right there for now okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the number one well not the number one but the first person on the list today is John Wild. So make sure you do it in front of the camera, Ivan. Fold it one time in the bucket. Next on our participation, man, that's a lot to say. Brian Disney, Brian Disney Burger Hero Burger Challenge. Our next participant is Nick Heckert. Nick, there you go. Come on. PJ said he's not getting the other the other's comments. Well, they're not important. Just my comments are the only ones. Are, I'm just playing. Just kidding. Alyssa, don't be so happy all the time. Jeez, man. Okay, next one on the list. Tell her to smile. Somebody tell her to smile. Smile. No. Smile. There. Okay. Jake and Nicole Henry. Okay. Next one in the bucket. Get in the bucket. Okay, I got two of them stuck here together. You can do it, Ivan. I'll let you read it. Show it to the camera. Landon Martin. Lander Martin. Okay, Lander Martin's in the bucket. Matt Russell. Matt Russell is going in the bucket. I see PJ Leposki laughing. I see Steve Gerard. He's not seeing any comments either. This Mike Peeler said smile, Alyssa. Alicia. No, it's Alyssa. He said smile. We'll wait until you do. Okay. Kent. I'm going to say this one because I don't want Ivan to mess that name up. Or we'll all get kicked out of Facebook. How do you say it? Let me see it. Oh, see, we're done. We just got suspended. Yeah. See you guys in 30 days. It's Fagernus. Dang it. See? See what I mean? Look, oh, now she's smiling. She's smiling now. That's, gonna make her That's why I don't let him do stuff, man. <laughs> we'll see you guys in 30 days. We'll be in Facebook jail. And here's here's one of our sponsors. Ricky, if you get chosen for the sauce, I will, you're disqualified. I will throw it out. So, Ricky Doolin. You want to try that one? Jennifer Joe Hicks. Very good. You got to show the camera though.
Put it right there. Giovanna. Giovanna is one of our new ones. Giovanna Rios Rojas. Good to see you this morning. She works at one of the accounts that I deliver beer to. She joined us. It's good to see you this morning. I thought that said Michael B. Jordan. I thought that said Michael B. Jordan. No, it doesn't say Michael B. Jordan. It says Michael B. Muse. Put Michael B. Muse in the bucket. Look at this guy. You know who that guy is? Andrew Dunn. He's the pit master for Myron. You got to show the camera. He's the pit master for Myron Mixon. So, got a brand new for, uh, water smoker. What is that, 48? That thing is huge, man. One of my dream things. If you could talk to Myron and have him uh, sponsor my page, please. No, I'm just kidding. But I would love one of those. Here's the man, the myth, the legend. Mike Peeler. Mike Peeler. Here's one of our new ones. Good to see you, Ramon. Ramon Joseph. He's going in the bucket. Here's a new one, Alyssa. Read that one. Eric Martin. Louder, please. Eric Martin. Eric Martin. Eric Martin's going in the bucket. Here's a new, another new one. Here's a new one in our, in our challenge. Rosanna Anderson. I want to find a hard one to give Ivan and make him read it. Here's one of our regulars, Nick. Heckert. Daniel Savala? Michael Ann's here. Good to see you, Michael. Michael Ann. Daniel Sabala. Daniel Sabala. That's right. That one's right. Okay. Next one, Alyssa. Who's that? Troy Pettibone. Very good. Very good. That was awesome. Troy Pettibone. The hardest one ever in the world. I'm going to give it to Ivan. Who's that? Joe Clark. Joe Clark. you got to show the camera. He's new, but we'll, we'll, we'll make him work. Did I say Nick Heckert twice? Oh, don't tell me that. No, I did not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. i got to go through. There's one Nick Heckert. I don't think you did. I'm not sure. Unless, because I copied these right off the list. Okay, I'm going to go through each one of these and I'll put them all back in. Now, this is your job is to make sure these don't blow out. There's the one, Nick Heckert, Andrew Dunn, Eric Martin, Michael B. Hughes, Kent Fergernis, Daniel Sabala. Ricky Doolin, Matt Russell, Nick Heckert. I did say it twice. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Okay, we'll throw one out. Thank you. That just saved us a big headache, so good looking out. I didn't even know that. Very, very good job. Thank you for noticing that. Steve Gerard, you are on it, homeboy. Rita Snow, Silvis is here. I, well, I already said that. You were already here, right? Good to see you, Rita. Okay, next one. Ron Pearson. Nope. Person. Ron Person. I got corrected because I used to say Ron Pearson also. Give us one <laughs> Brittany Gerard. Gerard. Say it loud. Brittany Gerard. She's so happy today. Brittany Gerard, good to see you. How about that one? Steve Gerard. I said Steve Gerard twice, so you're out. No, I'm just playing. Steve's a hawk. I, I wonder if he would say something if I said Steve Gerard twice. He would. I know he would. No, he would. Ralph. Estrada. Estrada. See. Should we, should we let him try one more? Um, Fagernis. He got it right finally. Fagernis. Tom Fagernis. There's a lot of Fagernises. Where did you say that? There's a whole bunch of Fagernises. Brian Shatswell, Shatty said, I didn't do the challenge, but good luck to all who did. Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson. 
Get in the bucket. This one, I got him. I got him on this one. Tom Ah, I got him. Michek. I think. I hope. Tom Michek. Can you read that? Jason Lee Belt. Jason Lee Belt. My like, writing isn't that great sometimes. I thought they said, uh, How about this punk? Bob Lindsay. Bobby Lindsay. Get in the bucket, Bob Lindsay. One more. Let's try Alyssa. Chris Fergernis. Fergernis, not the other one. Chris Fergernis. There's a lot of Fergernises. Jeff Allen, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Okay, here's another one. This guy is our sponsor from Right Barbecue. So, Dan, if you win the, the sauce and the rubs, you have to donate two of them. How about, no, I'm just playing. Just kidding. Dan, Dan Wright from Right Barbecue. He will not be eligible to win his own prize, so here's another one. Brandon Swan in the bucket. Look at my bucket's almost full. There's a new one. Tom Deal. Tom Deal. Good to see you in the challenge this time. Oh, I got him with this one. There is no way he will get this one. Dylan Davalito. No. Dion. Davidio. Davidio. Dion Davidio. I like it. That's a hard one. Rick Bremser. <laughs> Master Christian. Master Christensen. I'll try to speed this up a little bit. Sour B. Justin Sour B. Come on. Justin. No. Just put it in the bucket. Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton. G off. Jeff Yanez. Jeff Yanez. Joshua Howell. Joshua Howell. I don't know if Joshua's been in any yet, so if not, welcome. There's a bunch of Bremsers. There's another one, Michael Bremser. Greg Davis. Greg Davis. Darren Hudson. Darren Hudson. Geoff, that's your new name, Geoff Yanez. Geoff. Danny Sanchez. Nope. Donnie. Donnie Sanchez. Tell Johnny. Tell tell Johnny. Tell Donnie. Feel better. Feel he just better. had foot surgery. Feel better. He's got his. He got a leg up on the competition. He got a leg up on the competition. No, it's a foot up. Oh, he got a foot up. James Smokey Robinson in the house. It's a step up. James Smokey Robinson. Robbie Nemitz? No. Robbie Nemitz. Correct me if I'm saying these wrong. Maybe I've been saying them right. Eldridge Higdon. If this guy doesn't get this one right, he's fired. PJ Leposki. PJ Leposki. PJ, oh, oops. Sorry, I forgot to fold that. Be Becky Kramer says, good luck. I haven't done a challenge yet. You will. Oh, it's so simple to do. You just got to get in there and do it. Billy Rowe. Billy Rowe. The fisherman himself. Rod Mina. Rod Mina. The Oklahoma fisherman. 
I'm going to start giving you guys nicknames. Brooke Salmons. Brooke Salmons. You guys are going to start getting nicknames. And if you don't like them, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Matt Brislin. Matt Brislin. There's a new one. <clears throat> PJ, you cannot win your own prize. So you can't trade. You can't trade because you can't win it in the first place. So nice try. Pat Cassidy. Pat Cassidy is a new name. And really quick, um, I just want to talk about something really quick because we're almost done here. Uh, we had some, I don't know, I'm not sure how it went down, but if it was for fun, it, I, I didn't take it too funny. Uh, when we had people screenshotting pictures and it was just one individual in particular uh thank you steve gerard for calling it out um that's not what this is about this is about us getting together and cooking and trying something different learning some new things um it, to me that wasn't a joke I, I was very upset about that so uh from now on we will be doing asking for a selfie if you don't if you're not into taking selfies with your food or whatnot we wanting people to to participate in these you can put a date, uh, a picture, our logo, whatever, just something that shows that it's yours, your name and a date, you know, or you can put Backyard BBQ Heroes with your name, whatever. I, it's a shame that we have to go to that, but uh, this, this last episode, I, I was really, really angry about it. So that being said, most of the time, 99% of the time, everything's great on here. Everything's positive. So, uh. You know, it's a shame that I have to ask people to take selfies to prove these things because we, I pretty much trust everybody until I get burned one time. But so that being said, that's the first time we've ever really had an issue with anything. So uh, we'll we'll make rules appropriate uh, for these challenges. But the main thing is we want everybody to get together, have some fun, do some cooking. So okay, next one on the list. A name tag is fine, Josh. You know. Chris Thompson is the next one to go in. Just something that proves you didn't screenshot it off the internet or, you know, post a picture that was already posted in a magazine or something like that. You know what I mean? So it was a joke afterwards. Yeah, it was funny, but I, I was kind of upset about it. It wasn't a lot of fun. Stephanie Williams. Stephanie Williams. Stephanie Williams is, I believe, is a new one too. Oh. Alyssa? Mm -hmm. Scott Wheaton. Scott Wheaton is the next one to go in. Donnie said uh, he put his pet pigs. I'll put my pet pigs. Don't threaten me with a good time. I love pigs. They're delicious. James Sampson. James Sampson. There you go. Tom Fagernis is here. We had some fun with your name earlier, Tom. I don't know if you saw that. I don't know who that is. Mm. No, that's that one's no good. Uh, Nick Heckert was out. Okay, so we should have 53. I'm going to go through and count these real quick. One, two.
Okay. I'm gonna mix these up really, really well. Okay. Okay, first one on the list. Hold on, let me fix this so the wind doesn't blow it away. Melissa, stand up, please. Melissa, when you reach in here, make sure you only pick out one. Turn your head, hold on. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mike Peeler says, "Pull her, pull his name." Brandon Swan said, "Rob, thanks you, thanks for all you do. Thank you, sir." Okay, here we go. The biggest challenge ever: the Brian Disney Hero Barbe Barbecue Burger Hero Challenge. I keep adding stuff to it, but here we go. Okay, first one is Sure Shot Sids. Give me one up here, up here, up here, up here. Just one. Dig down in there. Just give me one name. Geoff Yanez. Geoff Yanez. Let me write this down. Congratulations. Great job, Jeff. Okay, that goes right there. Next is uh, the Wright's Barbecue Rub Shaker and Sauce. We're gonna mix these up really, really good. Okay, Alyssa, get in there, give me one. Just one. This is for the right barbecue rub and sauce. Billy Rowe. Billy Rowe. Billy Rowe, you are drawn for that. Gotta write it down. And if you guys win this, please message me your information, your address, your phone number, instant message, please. And uh, I will send it to the person so to, I will send it off to the company that's given the prize away and they will send it out to you in no time. Okay, next up, supplied by PJ Laposki is the Inkbird IBT4XS, which he said he will mail out on Tuesday. All right, Alyssa, get in there and give me one, just one name. Inkbird IBT4XS. Here we go. Stephanie Williams. Stephanie Williams. Stephanie Williams, you're a winner. That ink bird. All right, congratulations, Stephanie. Suckle Busters is up next. Billy Rose said he wanted that shaker for a while. I have one, it is awesome. You can make your own rubs, put it in there. All right, next on the list, Suckle Busters, 1836, Clucker Dust, Hog Waller, and SPG Rub, four-pack set to be given away. Steve Gerard. Steve Gerard. Steve Gerard's a winner. Good job, Steve. Steve Gerard has won that. Hold, hold, hold the phone. I got to turn my paper over. Next on the list is the cutting board from Rogue Custom Wood. Give me one name for that Rogue Custom cutting board. Here we go. Tom Deal. Tom Deal, one of our new ones, our new participants. Tom Deal, you're a winner. You won that cutting board from Rogue Custom Wood. Tom Deal. He got a cutting board? Yeah, Chris made it. So, 
That's an awesome cutting board. You're going to love it, Tom. Okay, last on the list, last but not least, Blue's Hog Sauce, Honey Mustard, Tennessee Red Sauce, Smoky Mountain Sauce, and the Original Sauce. It's outstanding. You will love it. Good luck. Here we go. That is donated from Ricky Doolin. Ricky, thank you for, for that. Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton, you're a winner. Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton. Good job, guys. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you, Ivan. So, it's that simple, guys. You know, all you got to do is have some fun with us, get in these competitions, cook something that we're doing, and you will learn so much from it. You'll learn much, so much from everybody else. James Robinson, good to see you this morning. Uh, outstanding job, guys. This, you know, thank you again for making this the most participated one. Uh, I, I will continue to look for for more sponsors, more prizes. Uh, we always do a big one at the end of the year, you know, and that's that's when our it's probably going to be like our biggest uh, prizes. So, that being said, um, whenever we have these competitions, these challenges, you're winning just by entering, just by having some fun with us. You know, that's that's what it's all about. You get to cook some different different things, and uh, and we have a blast with it. So. We're, and as I said, there's a lot of new people, so uh, you guys jump in these with us, you know. Um, if you have ideas for a new challenge, let us know. We're more than happy to, uh, we, we listen to suggestions. This is your page just as much as ours. Uh, we'll, let's get together and come up with something awesome. Uh, PJ's got another I, uh, IBT to give away, so let's... Uh, Come up with he wants it to be a little more challenging and we, we'll step them up and then we'll bring them down do some easy ones we'll do some hard ones but whatever it is you know jump in let me see i'm trying to read these real quick uh rita says next time she will participate uh james robinson said try tip challenge you know what james we thought about that the problem is our guys on the east coast and the midwest have a hard time finding tri tip um so we're kind of hoping that maybe tri tip will become more abundant in the midwest and the east coast so it's it's kind of hard it kind of limits everything to the west coast because that's that's where tri-tip is predominantly at so they have a real hard time back there so i would love to because i love tri-tip and it's one of my specialties but uh that being said any any ideas you know what i mean message me message chris uh post it to the page we usually put a poll up or something about what you guys and you can add whatever you want to that poll uh, we try and do them we're gonna try and do them once a month um, I don't want to burn out the sponsors too too much by doing them too too often so uh, I got to give them some time to, to kind of recoup but um, these are a lot of fun you know I, I'm thinking maybe next time we do a kids comp you know give some stuff away to the kids something like that uh, this the barbecue world is the best thing in the world because you can in, you can involve everybody in your family, whether you're young, old, broken down, handicapped. It doesn't matter. You know that's that's the fun thing about barbecue, and these guys love to cook with me. So uh, I'm also thinking about doing some kids cooking shows to to upload to our YouTube channel. So and what I'll do, I've done those before. I think I, we did mac and cheese, right? I did a, I showed kids how to cook mac and cheese. I'll give you a list a few days ahead of time that will pretty much show all the ingredients you're going to need. And I'll give you uh, the measurements for them. That way you can have them all ready to go. And I'll have uh, Alyssa and Ivan actually cook that whatever it is that we decide to do for a kid's cook. Uh, I learned to cook at a very young age. You know, my, uh, my grandparents, my grandmother owned a restaurant. Uh, I spent the summers there. I learned to cook. And I, that's where I fell in love with cooking. So, <clears throat> kids, th these are things you can do a lot. You know, we, I try to pick things that are don't require a lot of cutting because we don't really want young kids handling knives and that type of thing. But if, if there is, it's something mom can slice up and do. Um, Nick, you did not win. I'm sorry. You only had one entry in there, thanks to uh, Steve. So, um, yeah, Steve's saying try tip challenge would be awesome, but it's being so hard to find uh, in the in the East Coast Mike Peeler has an East Coast Heroes competition is coming stay tuned for that uh, we will do that 
uh, and and again, uh, for those of you that are new that that won uh, a prize on this challenge, message me Rob Bauer your information instant message. Don't post it on the page because we don't want everybody to have your address or and your information. So uh, message it to me. I will forward I will forward it to the to the uh, companies that are giving stuff away, and uh, I'll, I'll I usually also message you and let you know uh, tracking numbers and stuff like that when it's going to be delivered and when it's going out so uh, feel free to message me with issues that you have with shipping and you know or I can put you in direct connect with with the company that's supplying that type of thing so um, I'm always here I, I work a lot of hours during the day so I may not answer you right away but I will usually get to uh, my messages when I get home from work so maybe a little later at night but uh uh, let's see. PJ says, world cuisine, no Mexican, no Italian. Seafood challenge, we have done a seafood challenge. Blanca Lindsay, good to see you this afternoon. Uh, John Wilde says, congratulations, heroes, keep your girls hot. Robert Hicks is watching. Uh, Mike Peeler says, he found a way to send you a shoulder clod. Oh, my God. That, that's, that would be cool. I've never done a, a beef shoulder clod. Or is it a pork? It's beef, right? Beef, beef shoulder clod. Uh, steak challenge would be great. Fajita challenge would be good. Rib challenge or pizza. I like it. Another kid. Whoa. Whoa. Why isn't my thing running? Uh, tomahawk steak challenge. I'm down for that. Uh, PJ Leposki says, am I the only one not getting others' comments? Apparently not because I have a whole bunch of them here that I'm trying to catch up to. Uh, Mike Peeler says, I run a kid's Q comp every year it's coming up so I'll post pics post some go lives also please Mike Peeler on that um, uh, let's see Nick Heckert Nick Heckert's replying to Ricky Doolin uh, Steve Gerard wants to know if Ricky Doolin supplying the steaks that would be awesome John Wilde says he's up for a chicken challenge chicken Chicken is a good one. We have not done a chicken challenge. I do not believe. So, interesting. Um, chicken is one of my weaknesses as far as cooking comps. Um, I'm getting better, but I do struggle with chicken at times, especially during comps. So, uh, that's that would help me out a lot. I would learn to love. I would learn to love. I would love to learn. I would love to learn some tips on chicken because I do struggle with chicken. Uh, Brandon Swan, we're always looking to raise money for charities. If you have a charity, uh, I do, a, I, I'm trying to work a deal with a bunch of, um, and, and the cancer, American Cancer Society, I will be in touch with them this week. So I will let you know, uh, about the American Cancer Society cook-off coming up in June here in the Inland Empire. So if you're in the Inland Empire, uh, I'll let you know as soon as I can. That is going to be a fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. Uh, my wife and I both had cancer. We were both survivors. Uh, lost some family members to cancer. So uh, anything we can do to help out the American Cancer Society, we're down to do. And we will be doing in June. Um, if you guys have anything you would like to do as far as a comp for the American Cancer Society, please let me know. Uh, James Robinson said, we did a chicken challenge about a year ago. Okay. I, I, I'm old and I forget things. Uh... It was a while ago, so um, there's there's lots of things we can do, you know. There's oh, I forgot to tell you. Look at you see my grass back there. Me and I haven't been working on that grass, and it's it's coming along nice. It's looking good. So sorry, I just noticed it in the picture right now. Um, so that being said, uh, we're always open to suggestions for the page. Things you guys want to do, please let us know. Um, Kids cook off would be awesome. I will do some kids cooking uh, YouTube shows, go live type thing. Uh, like I said, I, something you guys want to want to teach the kids, want me to teach the kids, I'd be more than happy. Please message me and suggest it to me. Um, and with that being said, congratulations to our winners. Let's go through the list one more time before I let you guys go. Before I knock my camera off here. Okay, Sure Shot Sid's package winner was Jeff Yanez. Congratulations, Jeff. Wright's Barbecue, AP Rub, Shaker, and Chipotle, barbecue, Chipotle Peach Barbecue Sauce. Went to Billy Rowe. You will love that. Congrats, Billy. The Inkbird IBT 4XS from PJ Leposki to Stephanie Williams. Congratulations, Stephanie. 
Suckle Busters, the 1836 Clucker Dust Hogwaller and SPG to Steve Gerard. Congrats, Steve. You will love that. Uh, Andrew Dunn is watching. We are just that's we are just about done, but no 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 pun in, intended. But uh, check out my lawn. Oh yeah, yeah, that's me. Steve Gerard's making fun of me. I said chicken challenge. Hey, check out my lawn. Yeah, I, I do have ADD. I'm sorry. I, I everybody that knows me knows I have ADD and OCD. So for that, I'm thankful. Not. Uh, last, last two were the custom cutting board from Rogue Custom Wood was Tom Deal. Tom Deal. Good job. Great deal. That's a great deal, Tom. I'm sure you hear that all the time. Blues Hog Sauce with Honey Mustard, Tennessee Red Sauce, Smoky Mountain Sauce, and the original is Jimmy Norton. So those of you who won prizes, please message me with your information as I see people are already getting to me. But yes, uh, great, great challenge this time, and it was a simple one. We try to keep them fairly simple, but we will try to kick them up a little bit to uh, add some, add a little, uh, I don't know, just to, to in increase your skill level. How about that? John Wild, thank you, sir. You stay blessed as well. Uh, Billy Rose says, thanks again, sponsors and admins. Here's to the next challenge. Here, here. We will come up with something good. You guys have ideas, please let us know. Uh, we're always open to suggestions. Continue to keep posting your picks uh, and your cooks, giving us tips. Any, anything you see, a hack, you know, I, I see hacks all the time. And, and not, you know, hacks in a bad way, but I mean things that make our lives easier. Uh, post those, please. Thing, it could be anything from, uh, from trimming meat to anything. Anything that's going to make you think might help out other people and make their lives easy, things you've learned, please share them. You know, we'd love to learn stuff like that. Steve, you are awesome. Steve says the greatest group ever. Y'all are awesome. You all are awesome. So, y'all, y'all. So, that being said, thank you guys for your time. Thanks for, for making the page great. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, I, I couldn't be more, more happier. So, thank you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Spend some time cooking with your families, but do not drink and drive, please. Thanks for joining us. Have a great one. Say bye.